<laughs> so yeah, circulation is a doubt. Um, in common with other regional newspaper groups, falling circulation of the Trinity Mirror have not translated into falling profits. In fact, quite the opposite has happened. Despite poor newspaper sales, profits of the Western Mail and Echo have risen at an unprecedented rate. In 2005, Trinity Mirror claimed that the Western Mail was the UK's fastest growing regional daily. Western Mail and Echo's recent profit margins place it well above average as one of the most profitable newspapers in the country. In fact, it's ranked uh, the seventh most profitable company of any kind in Wales. Um, not just newspapers, of any kind. In 2005, it ran a profit margin of 38.2%, and it recently broke the 40% barrier for the first time. And climbing profits have been accompanied by a near constant stream of staff cuts. The number of editorial staff that, the, uh, that a newspaper company employs, I'm sure you all agree, is a clear indicator of how seriously it takes the news product it offers to the public. There's been a 31% overall decrease in editorial and production staff at the Western Mail and Echo since 1999. Almost a third of its uh, staff gone. Every journalist at the Western Mail and Echo we contacted, along with many others from Trinity regional companies outside Wales, complained of editorial staff levels decreasing and non or at least delayed replacement of colleagues that leave for other jobs or retire. 94% of respondents to our survey said they thought the number of editorial staff in the newsroom had decreased in recent years. Now, the effects of falling staff numbers on workload were also clear from the research that we did. 84% uh, of journalists thought that their workload had increased since they began working as a journalist. Uh, and salaries. Salary levels are notoriously poor in most regional and local newspaper companies. Uh, and coming from a junior academic, that's really something. Uh, <laughs> Western Mail and Echo is no exception. Levels of pay are especially low for trainees and young people starting out. Almost all new trainee journalists are graduates, but none can expect to enter on an annual wage larger than £11,113. In 2006, to give you some perspective, the UK nationwide average graduate salary was 20300 So Trinity employees are earning just over half the national average when they start out. In contrast to a long period of stagnation in which reporters' pay is barely kept up with inflation, levels of pay for high-ranking executives at Trinity Mirror have increased sharply. You know, it's kind of a cheap, cheap shot, maybe, but it's worth looking at. You know, Sly Bailey's earned nearly £4.5 million pounds since becoming CEO of Trinity Mirror. Given the fact that Trinity Mirror is currently offering journalists a pay rise that barely keeps up with inflation, this is understandably galling for lots of staff. Company pay. The fifth point that I came up with at the beginning decreases in the quality of the news. Now, this is obviously very difficult to measure, but there are indicators that back up this theory. The fact that newspapers are hemorrhaging readers, the fact that fewer overworked, poorly paid journalists are putting them out. The fact that pagination has decreased and the number of editions has gone down. All this suggests that previous levels of quality must be difficult to maintain. Another interesting marker, one that we decided to look at in the report, of falling quality and independence of the local and regional news, is a growing reliance on <coughs> public relations material and news agencies. Bless you. Our survey of opinion at the Cardiff Newsroom found that 80% of journalists thought they now relied more on press agency copy than previously. Opinion on the use of public relations copy was even more emphatic, with 92% of journalists saying they used PR more over the last decade. Now this is kind of setting the scene. With this kind of historical and economic context in mind, it's worth looking now at the, the details of the company's plans to move its regional newspapers online to converge. Central to the company's recent strategic review is, and I quote from a Trinity Merit document, the adoption of new technology-led operating models across the group to accelerate growth and reduce costs. I think it's interesting that they see the web as a cost-saving opportunity. Almost every expert that we interviewed for the report stressed the need for big initial investment in online in terms of staffing and technology for it to work, for any online strategy to work. If you look at the successful models, The Guardian, the BBC, they've all 
had kind of you know, you know, big investments early on. The Guardian took some hits in, 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 in the last five years in order to, to bolster its online capability in the future. Um, well, that's a kind of aside. Trinity Mirror has already began experimenting with a number of different multi-platform options. It's experimented with micro-local websites uh, to, to, to go up against the BBC's planned micro-local uh, sites. It's experimented with blogging. It's experimented with comment posts. But it's clear from our research that the most important changes in working conditions uh, in these regional newsrooms will come from the introduction of video journalism and the move to a web-first editorial strategy where some oral stories get published online before being published in the printed newspapers. Um, we went to speak with Michael Hill, who's uh, Trinity Mirror's regional head of multimedia, um, to ask him what his take on the whole thing was. He struck a fairly conciliatory chord with us, uh, talking about small steps, talking about encouraging journalists to learn how to tell stories in different ways and in different media. But at a recent conference on <coughs> citizen journalism at the University of Central England, he was much more bullish about the future of printed news and much more bullish in his derision of editorial staff who entertain reservations about Trinity's online policies. We have to accept that breaking news online has to come first, said Hill. A step that he suggested some journalists were finding hard to accept. He said that one skeptic, uh, a journalist in one of the Trinity Mirror regional newsrooms, had asked him, why kill the goose that laid the golden egg? Talking about newspapers, local and regional newspapers, very profitable businesses historically. And his answer to this was that the goose has got birds. <laughs> After this proclamation of the terminal illness of Trinity Spring News Follows, he went on to describe the process of modernizing the company's newsrooms and retraining journalists as like turning around an oil tanker. And this is where the, the title to our report comes from. Some staff, he said, would just never understand, but they'll do what they're told to do. Now here, I'd like to pause to share with you what we think is the most important finding in our report. Contrary to management's attempts to frame journalists as Luddites or technological dinosaurs, and I think we can expect more of this in the future, almost every journalist that we interviewed was in favor of a move to multimedia journalism, and 86% of the journalists we surveyed at the Cardiff Newsroom said that they believed the future of local and regional press <coughs> or the internet. I think that's really important to hold on to. The concerns <coughs> that do exist and that we did identify are all about how, in the light of this history of underinvestment and cuts, that the company goes about implementing the changes, implementing convergence. And we identify five key areas of concern, another five key areas of concern to be done. The journalists we surveyed are worried about, number one, resources. And these are all interrelated. But this one is a concern that appropriate human and other resources must be provided by the company to implement the changes. Almost all respondents to our survey, 96% of journalists, suggested that more staff should be hired to cover the extra work created by online. But, probably pragmatically, 88% of respondents feared that the multimedia strategy would not end up creating any more additional jobs at the company. 